Hey everybody, I've gotten a whole bunch of emails, messages, and DMs and whatnot talking about how WG is going to release a master's in computer science program. And today, they finally actually made the page live. So I thought I'd kind of go over it a bit and talk about it with people and go over like the requirements and everything uh, just to give you a, a good idea of what you might be getting into. So this video, um, I'll talk about degree requirements, the cost of it, um, the discipline breakdown. So there's actually three, well, maybe 3.5 different like paths you can take uh, to get the master's in computer science degree. And then I'll, at the end, I'll talk about how to get an actual computer science degree, like the bachelor's degree quickly, if you're interested in getting the master's. Um, I actually have three degrees from WGU. I have like a IT, IT bachelor's, computer science bachelor's, and a master's in cybersecurity. And I, I got my computer science bachelor's really, really fast. It was like a 10 weeks or something like this, which is stupidly fast. It's too fast for like a normal person, but I was like really intentional about what I did and I pre-studied a lot and everything. So I'll talk about that um, a bit at the end and you probably can't do it in 10 weeks, but if you do like a similar strategy, you'll be able to um, get it faster than you would have otherwise. So if you don't know what WGU is, it's an online accredited university where you pay for one term at a time. So for example, six months, and then you're allowed to complete as many classes as you can in that six month time period. So if you're really fast, then you just get your master's degree or whatever the case may be for um, only you know $3,500 or $4,000 or however much the program costs. So kind of the more efficient you are and the faster you are, um, kind of the better it is economically, but you know, Take as much time as you need to, to finish the program. And then getting right into the requirements, um, you can just see this on the degree page. Like basically option one is you need to have a, a computer science bachelor's degree already or a degree that's equivalent. But if you have a bachelor's degree in a, in a field that's not computer science, you have to complete uh, what WGU is calling their foundations of computer science at WGU Academy prior to enrolling in the program. And I kind of tried to look up what this was, but I can't actually find it anywhere, even on Reddit, at least of now, I, I couldn't find anything. There might be something out now. Um, but I don't know what's inside of the foundations of computer science, but probably in order to maintain the integrity of the master's in computer science, it, it needs to have some kind of of some level of like calculus in it, like some mathematical rigor and some kind of like a computer architecture and data structures and algorithms. It, it must have something like this in it. Otherwise people are just gonna make fun of the master's degree in computer science. Like it needs to have those like, at least like integral calculus in DS and algos too, so, something like this. So I'm assuming it's gonna have that in there. So check with WGU first, but don't think that you can just get like a, degree in history or something, or, or, or even IT, and then get the comp sci and masters without some kind of math. I, I'm assuming they're gonna put some kind of math roadblock in there, but I don't know. Um, I'll put something in the description, maybe if I remember, but definitely check by yourself to make sure. And then getting into the cost of it, it's like really straightforward. Um, as of right now, one term is $3,985. So if you can complete all the courses in this amount of time, then you just, congratulations, you have a master's in comp sci for under $4,000. Um, this is what I did for every single one of my degrees, my, um, all of them actually. The master's in cybersecurity is like about $4,000. The comp sci degree was about 4,000 and the IT degree was like 3,500 or something. So if you do proper planning and focus and like execution and all that, um, it's, it's possible to finish like really quick, but I might budget, if you're like relatively squared away, I might budget like a year for this one, which is about 7,900 or $8,000 roughly. So yeah. And then getting into the, the discipline breakdown, there's technically kind of four paths. Um, the first path is like a general computer science degree. The second path is a human computer interaction. The third path is artificial intelligence and machine learning. And then the fourth path is like a combined uh, bachelor's master's accelerated program. So, you know, it, it just depends on like what you want. If you just wanna like get those academics out of the way, then it might be worth it. But getting into the three different disciplines, um, you can just kind of like look at these. I'm not gonna read off every single class cause you can just, I'll put a link to this in the in the description and you can like search the individual, individual classes um, with Google if you want. So for example, basically everything in yellow here, these are like the basically the same across all, the, all of the different degrees. And for a general computer science and then human computer interaction, there's kind of like a, some more overlap here. You can just kind of eyeball this and get a general sense. So for me personally, like which one I would pick because of like, you know, the huge advancements in AI recently. And I, I use, as a user, I use AI a lot like LLMs and ChatGPT. And I also like, um, I don't create my own model or anything like that because I don't have a use for it yet because there's like so many models like readily available for me to use. But I do use like um, ChatGPT API and like other AI APIs like quite a bit in my day to day. I just use those a lot. 
and I'm relatively interested in AI and ML, so I would personally go with this one, but depending on like you, it just really depends. My, my usual answer to people is to just pick what you find the most interesting and then just go really hard on it. And if you don't know like what to do, I would just pick general computer science, to be honest, because you can always supplement that with some kind of, you know, AI, ML, or pretty much anything really like cybersecurity or whatever. And the general computer science, discipline you're not going to go wrong with. and then if you're interested in getting a bachelor's in computer science like really really quick i'll kind of talk about what i did to do that so so i'll put a link to this in the description but basically what you're looking at uh, these are all the programs at wg including the computer science program so if you, if you click on this you can see all of the different these are like all the program all the classes that's required for the bachelor's in computer science. And then these are transfers that you can take from another um, organization, another educational organization called study.com. And basically like the idea is the, the classes from study.com are usually like f much faster to complete than the classes at WGU. And they're lower stress because it's like, it's way cheaper in terms of like credit per hour. It's like 90% cheaper than the classes at WGU. And they're just like lower stakes. So for example, when you subscribe to study.com and you start doing classes, it's only like $235 a month without the discount. With the discount, I forget how much it is, well, like whatever that is, like minus 30%. And it's only like a month at a time. Versus WG, you have to pay like for a term at a time and it's like $3,500 to $4,000. So basically the idea is you, you take all of these classes from uh, study.com like one at a time, basically. And then when you finish all of them, you end up like with something like this. See how there's like only 21 classes left as opposed to like however many there were before, like 37 or 38 or something like this. I have another spreadsheet that breaks down all of the strategies, like how to pass each class as fast and efficiently as possible. So I'll put a link for that in the description as well. And it looks like this. So for example, say that you registered at um, WGU and then you're like, okay, I'm gonna like take my first class. That's ethics in technology, ID is D333. So you just basically like search for that in the spreadsheet and then you find it here. And then it looks like the person didn't talk about like how many days it took them, but there's like a strategy for it on Reddit. So if you click this, you, you go to like, it will bring you to like a page where somebody's talking about how they passed D333, for example, and it talks about like everything they did and like how they studied for it and stuff. It's not like cheating and it's not, it doesn't take away from the class. It just gives you ideas of like how to approach it and stuff. So for example, I'll do like one more like discrete math too. This is like notoriously difficult class. I search this. And then it takes takes you to a page where it talks about somebody how they took only four days to pass to pass discrete math. I took like 10, 10. How long did I take? I feel like it took like two, two to three weeks or something for me to pass discrete math. And this is hard for me. Um, so this is like pretty impressive. And he, he talks about or he she somebody Oh, it doesn't even say their name, but this person talks about what they did to pass discrete math to. So that's that's basically how I would do it. I would, um, before doing anything, like I would, of course, like check your existing transcript to see what you can transfer into WGU. I would do all the study.com classes here with a discount. And then when those are done, I would just enroll at WGU and then just uh, use this strategy guide to kind of work your way through the rest of the classes. Um, as fast as you could, as fast as you can, just for the sake of saving time on it. And I have this computer science degree as well, right? It took me 10 weeks to get, and a lot of people are always like, like the employer is not gonna like accept that, et cetera. But I, I've been able to successfully interview at those big big tech companies and work at Microsoft. And I've successfully interviewed at Google um, as like a L3 software engineer. Um, I, I stopped that process because I went to go work at Microsoft and I just like moved to Asia afterwards. But um, yeah, the master's in computer science program, it looks really good, it looks really promising. To be honest, I might do the AI ML one eventually because um, it looks it looks really, really cool and I'd like to like do the program and make content on it, but I've been like really busy with a lot of other stuff. So yeah, check it out. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I really appreciate it a lot. Uh, and if you're interested in getting into cybersecurity, I run a hands-on cyber range and we do uh, threat hunting exercises and competitions where we do like a periodic giveaways and stuff for people who who win those and I try to like organize it so everyone has like kind of a chance to win but um, check it out I'll put links for that in the description as well as um, 
everything we talked about in this video, like the spreadsheets and everything. But yeah, uh, good job, uh, WGU, for making a cool program. I think it looks really good. And you're, they recently redid the bachelors as well to incorporate more um, artificial intelligence and machine learning type things in there as well. So that's really cool. Uh, check it out. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.